Hi, this is Pastor K. Kiong. You know, I really believe something is happening here. On the first Saturday of every month, for the last four months, we have more than three to 400 people turning up for the authentic manhood course. Something is happening here. Many of us have taken on a journey to discover our identity, take up our responsibility, to fulfill the destiny that God has for each of us. Uh, MIC is a fantastic ministry where um, we, we can get together and discuss and address uh, men's issue and how we can uh, walk together uh, in, in godly ways and where we can uh, uphold one another and encourage one another. And it tells us that the problems that we are facing as men are not problems that we are facing in isolation. All of us face the same problems. And when you see that uh, in, 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 in a setting like this, you realize that you're not alone. At first, I had some reservation because uh, it's not so easy to be vulnerable to, to other men. But it's really a very re rewarding experience just to realize that you're not alone in your struggles. And then it's also very beneficial to learn and hear from other men in terms of their experience and their struggles and how they dealt with it. We're talking about manhood. We're talking about the struggles of growing up. We're talking about the struggles of stepping into all that God has for us, all that He would like us to become, and how we're going to do that. So authentic manhood is not about being perfect as a man. So. At first I thought, you know, this would add more pressure to me as a man, you know, I already have a lot on my plate. But actually it proved to be something different and something more helpful and beneficial. Don't get me wrong, I'm not asking us to do more as men, but I'm asking us to focus on what really counts. In Singapore, I think it's very easy for us men to slide into passivity. I've been mentoring men uh, in Campus Crusade but do not have a platform or an avenue for us to journey together. And this seminar has served as a good uh, platform uh, for us to come together, to have a common language, to understand what are issues that men uh, struggle with, uh, direction, identity and role. And this has given us some platform to grow and journey as men together. Okay, the goal is to have men connect, to meet together, and to discuss their lives and take their journey to authentic manhood. All over Asia, as I've traveled and worked with the men, I've seen this happening time and time again. Today we have resources that did not exist 20 years ago, and the men are effectively using these resources to bring about transformation in their lives. We were amazed. There were IDD groups members who came, men who came, there were cell group members who came. They came as a group of men. And when they came and they talked about those issues that matters to the man's heart, their fellowship and their relationship right now has have deepened to such an extent that the fellowship is never the same again. The timing for uh, Men in Common Ministry is very good because it's, it's just uh, once a month, uh, uh, first Saturday of the month, and uh, it's early in the morning, so it doesn't take us away from family time. This is a very wonderful opportunity where men can come together and as iron sharpen iron, and we can see God doing work through each and every brother's life here. Something is happening here. I want to invite you to come and join us on this journey towards authentic manhood. And when you look into the mirror tomorrow morning, what kind of man you're going to see? What kind of man you're going to see?